Hi, I'm Sapphire and I am a doctor and I am actually a fungal ecologist because fungi connect everything and so ecology is just a natural fit. The Fungi for Land project is a collaboration. I am the principal author and there are actually 26 other mycologists, so people who study fungi, and we are putting our best information together about how to understand fungi and to integrate that knowledge into your land management because they work in the ecosystem, they work for us, and we've been really lucky to date. Most fungi do their jobs, but we know that the ecosystem is getting unhealthy and the lack of understanding means people are making bad decisions and actually making their land less healthy. The role that fungi play in our ecosystems is not just one role. They don't just have one job, but they do some really wonderful things. If you're a tree person or an orchid person, they live with plants. They live with plants in their tissue as endophytes, meaning inside plant. They live in their roots as um, mycorrhiza, fungus roots, mycelium. People may have heard of the wood wide web. Well, that is the connection, the fungal network in soil that feeds plants and plants feed their fungal partners. It's the most amazing network and lets plants communicate with each other. And that's just sort of one role. They are decomposers, they break up nutrients. So when you're composting in your garden, you are actually feeding the fungi, which is breaking it up, which is allowing more nutrients, more phosphorus, more nitrogen for the plants to be available. Otherwise, it's all locked up in um, fibrous material. So that's a second job. And there are even fungi that unfortunately harm other organisms, but that's okay. Plant pathogens, tree pathogens, they're actually good because they start the process for hollows for birds. So if you like birds and you don't want to be putting bird box up all the time, you basically need to have a pathogenic fungi that does a bit of damage to a tree to make a hollow. So they're just some of the jobs that fungi are doing to keep our ecosystem connected and healthy and they work together to do that. We've had some horrendous fires this year. It has been just amazingly horrible in so many places and so many people have really struggled. But one of the really good things to know is that fungi already have been helping hold the soil. That ash bed, one of the jobs of fungi after a fire event is their mycelium. That amazing network actually holds that ash, particularly after those first rains and stops it eroding and going down into the creeks, which means that that hind level of nutrient is there, ready as the most amazing seed bed for the plants that will come with the rains. It's not the end, it is catastrophic, but it is not the end. And the fungal partners are are there partnering up with those seeds that are germinating, coming up and giving new life to that landscape. And it, it's happening now, it's, it's hope. There are so many different species of fungi. We still don't know them all, but they are all doing different jobs, but we need to use the right fungus in the right way at the right time. So the guide that we are trying to put together is a land management guide. This is not a fungi ID guide. We're not gonna teach you to identify fungi. What we're going to teach you is how to understand what fungi are doing on your land, how they help, how they can actually do damage and how you can actually limit that damage if they are hurting the system. Most people don't understand what fungi do anywhere whether it's you know in an agricultural sense or um, in a national park. And we want all people to understand how their actions may influence the different kind of fungi and different actions will affect different groups of fungi differently. It's a whole kingdom with lots of different jobs. So we actually want you to understand how to manage each of those different groups. What I want everyone to understand is that fungi are everywhere and they're doing their jobs, but mostly in natural bushland, let nature be messy. Don't tidy up. Leaves and logs are food for fungi, which are food for invertebrates, which are food for birds. So we want healthy systems. Let nature be messy because it all works. <laughs> <laughs>